Setting the background of a rendered image. Here in the background of our rendering settings dialog, we have a style. We hit the down arrow. We have preset styles. We have the sky with no clouds, which is very boring, by the way, artistically. Uh, and also, for rendering purposes, it is boring. Uh, sky with a few clouds, very few clouds, again, a little on the boring side. A sky with few clouds, that's pretty good because we actually, in a picture, we like to see clouds in our sky, not just a blue. Um, and also, in rendering, the, the light will reflect off of clouds, giving some diffusion. And that, that's going to soften up our, our light very nicely. Um, we can also have a sky with a cloudy. Uh, this kind of is a little too much sometimes. Um, depending on what you're trying to go for, but uh, it will diffuse the light really well, but it, you can't really see the blue sky. And then there's very cloudy, which is kind of too, too grayish. Uh, and then you have two other options. You can go to color. When I click on color, you can set to any color you want for a background. So out here I could have it as any particular color. One of the things you can do, this is a nice sky color, but you can go to black and have nighttime. And uh, and that that you know is is kind of like on the say dusk area. You could set it to be a color of dark. Um, also, you can have an image. In an image, you go out and you pick the image. Then you can pick any photo that you want to show up through here. So you can pick a picture of you know a sunset or clouds. Um, or at nighttime, you could have stars and, and uh, Royal Borealis. Um, you could actually have the neighbor's house uh, poking through the, take a photo with your digital camera of the neighbor's house and it would show up going through the windows, which is really cool to sell your project. When you can start showing actual uh, you know, neighborhood of where this structure will be in, it sells the image all the time. Uh, so. Uh, you can set set this to uh, anything you want. I like few clouds uh, for a preset. And then we also have haze. If it's a clear day, it's clear. If it's a very hazy, like a foggy day, or you know, there's a lot of uh, pollution in the air, um, that bounces the light around and causes it to be more diffuse light. So sometimes a little bit of haze is good just because it softens the light up. But if you get really hazy, it's like having pea soup day type thing. It doesn't do really well. Um, so you can set the haze, uh, whatever you like there. I'll throw a little bit in just to have some. Also, if you are doing an interior and you have sunlight only, um, this how many clouds you have or the haze does affect it uh, because the light gets diffused off of the clouds and off the haze before it comes through the window. So don't think just because oh I'm inside that the clouds do not affect my rendering. They do.